Morning guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Anyway, we got some snow out here. So I got the big old beast in here. I'm gonna tear it all apart. And I'm gonna put it all back to stock. So anyway, uh, just wanted to do a little video real quick. Got a package yesterday. Stupid thing just popped off. Uh, I got a package yesterday from Ulsa Tools. We got the Ulsa, Ulsa Tools Ratcheting Adjustable Crescent Wrench. So, fun little fact. Everybody calls them crescent wrenches. I still call them crescent wrenches. I have a crescent wrench. So, crescent wrench was actually is actually a manufacturer, a name brand. They make them in different sizes, types, um, whatever. There's a crescent wrench. So it came out to be called crescent wrench due to the fact that it was the company. I guess the company first designed that first designed the wrench. His name or whatever, however it worked, his name was Crescent, I'm assuming. Um just like channel lock pliers. Um they were made by the company called Channel Lock. So Channel Lock right here. There's Channel Lock pliers. These are called Channel Lock, but they're actually, I guess, adjustable pliers. Uh, rib cage pliers is their true name. Anyway, just wanted to get that little fun fact out. Um, so they are just actually just called adjustable wrench, and there is a proper use, a proper technique that you're supposed to use them. And uh, also tools made that and hit it on the head. So here we go. We got this also tools adjustable wrench. So it's all metal construction, obviously. Um, it's adjustable. Um, we got inch up here. It goes from zero to one inch and a little line on it. <clears throat> We'll see. Uh, we'll see how accurate it is. It goes a little bit, a little bit beyond the one inch, so we can put it on one inch. I'm not picking on these people. I'm not saying anything. Not being rude or anything. So these are just my honest little reviews or whatever you want to call it. So let's just see. Let's see how it works. So we'll zero that out. That is zeroed. As you can see, nope. it's too cold and it doesn't want to read. So, okay, that's zero because I was pushing on it. <clears throat> Let's just see this. So, we got it on the one inch. This is, it's hard to hold the camera and do this. <clears throat> it's one inch. So let's go to the half inch. Not saying this is a bad, I mean this is, I'm sure it's probably not accurate. 100% but it is close enough to get you to where you need to be so as you can see 4.95 if you pull it you get a you get the half inch which it's on half inch so pretty cool it's pretty close pretty darn close actually it's really 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 close um, I do like the design of it um, I don't remember what size that is, but this is from the air compressor I was working on. So, <clears throat> yep, that's right on. That I remember it being a uh, three quarters of an inch, and sure enough, it's three quarters. <laughs> cool. Um, so wish I had something to ratchet on. Um, let me let me find something real quick. Something that's tight. Okay, let's do this. So here we go. So we got this here, this bolt. 
So, so as you can see, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was playing with it a little bit. So you can stick it on there, and you'll tighten it that way, and then click. It clicked. It clicked. Pretty cool. I gotta say, pretty cool. Pretty excited for this little tool. Um, but yeah. So that clicks right there. So that would be tightening. And then you would go right there. Tightening. Right there. Tightening. Pretty awesome. And then you can have it to where it's completely locked. So if you were on here and you wanted to loosen it, <clears throat> you can loosen it. Um, I'm not going to loosen it. Um, but yeah. Or you can just turn it over. Um, you can turn it over and ratchet it this way. So, ratchet. So if you want to loosen it, you flip the wrench over. Because these, believe it or not, these are designed a certain way. All adjustable wrenches and crisp wrenches. So this would be your tightening method. And then that would be your loosening because you want uh, the stress to go onto this this side here as opposed to this side because this side's always just the adjuster. So if you were to loosen this way, this could somehow pop open. Anyway, there is a proper technique to these tools to adjustable wrenches. Um, <clears throat> so pretty pretty right on, pretty dead on this also tools. Okay, so here comes my my opinion to it. I haven't really used it other than what you guys just saw. Um, it is ergonomically friend, friendly. Um, it does fit in the hand really nicely. Uh, it does have the good curvature, kind of like a good knife handle. Um, it's it, it seems to be made of good quality. Um, like I said, I have not used it used it. But I do plan on using it um, for a lot of stuff. I'll probably keep it in my truck or I'll keep it in my Ulsa tool, my junkyard tool bag, which is also awesome. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can go. It's, it's just www.ulsatools.com. One thing I would change on this, only one thing. No, it's not rubber handle or anything. Is because the industry standard is going to metric. Basically everything, almost everything you wrench on is metric. This inch. I don't want to say the inch system is going away. But uh, maybe we can do inch uh, on the back side. And we can do metric on this side. Or just have metric on this side. And inch on this side. No big deal. Um, I don't think anybody actually really list, looks at it. Um, one thing that would be cool is if you were using this, and the only reason why I bring this up is because a lot of times what I do with the adjustable wrench is I come over and I'm wrenching on something or whatever, whatever have you, and I'm like this, you know, I get the size and I'll back it off a little bit and I come to my wrench drawer and I go like this. I go, hmm, no, no, no. Yeah, that's close, but then that's metric, which that's three quarter. So technically, I'd have to come here and grab a three quarter. <clears throat> and the only reason I would do that is to grab the box in. So it'd be a cool little uh, addition to this. I know it's really not nothing, uh, nothing real crazy. Um, but it'd be cool. I do like the idea that you do have the inch on here so that this way, like I said, if you're working on something, you can go and say, okay, I need a three quarter inch wrench or a box in wrench or okay, I can get it with a socket now. Uh, let me go get a three quarter inch socket instead of coming back and being like, boop, boop, boop. oh, it's not three quarter. Oh, it's not a half. Oh, it's not five eighths. It's not nine sixteenths. But anyway, um, if you could just do metric on this side so that this way you can just flip it over and be like oh it's a lot closer to three quarter than a 19 or a lot closer to three quarter than an 18 
So, anyway, my only one little advice for the wrench. So, anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for sending this. I will be using it. <clears throat> I do use a crescent wrench. As you saw, my big crescent wrench was out here. I was using it. I was using a real crescent wrench, uh, the name brand crescent wrench. So, this will definitely be used in my house and in my garage. So... Anyway, um, yeah, so thank you guys. There is a link. There will be a link down the bottom in the description um, of where to get that adjustable wrench and the website where you can look at other stuff. They got cool stuff like this tool mat. This tool mat is really awesome. It made it made my toolbox, I don't know, my toolbox feels, it feels a lot more rigid and a lot more stiff. It doesn't feel so tenny, you know, because this is a U.S. general toolbox. So this stuff is pretty thick. As you can see, um, this stuff here, this is all, I mean, look, I just tore it. That just tore literally just by me pulling it back. So I haven't done the, all the drawers yet. I did this drawer. But anyway, so um, they do also have, I don't even know where they're at. Um, I don't use them. Um, anyway. They have their little tool, like these, uh, they have these drawers, however, I already have these, these, uh, little holders, socket holders, so I really don't want to bug them and ask them for some. I mean, if they want to send me some, I can swap these ones out for theirs, because these are from Harbor Freight, so, um, but yeah, so if they want to send me some of those, I'll take them, <laughs> uh, but I don't really want to ask them for them, but, uh, um, oh yeah, these, they're down here. These right here are pretty sweet. They're a lot better than, uh, uh, the metal ones, the steel ones that I throw away. I threw a, a bunch of them away. Right here. I throw those away because I got these. Um, I do have plans for these. I want to get a uh, tool cart. I want to get a little tool cart. For the garage so I can wheel tools around and I do have I have a almost a full set of sockets and stuff in the barn I have some a bunch of sockets in here because I've lost one socket and sometimes it's cheaper just to buy the whole set when there's a deal so anyway getting off subject so all right guys thank you for guys watching thank you for watching also tools ratcheting adjustable crescent wrench Pretty cool. Like it. Thank you. Alright guys, later.